Most High God, we deserve all the glory. You are high and lifted up, Most High, King of glory. You are high and lifted up, most high, King of glory. Sing Him a song. Sing Him a song of praise. Sing Him. Lord, no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. You're high and lifted up. You shall reign forever. Come, my King. Open wide ye gates, let the King of glory come through. You are high and lifted up. High and lifted up. High and lifted up. High and lifted up. Open wide ye gates, let the King of glory come. Come, my King. through you.
wide open wide now for the king of glory is coming in open wide open wide all you gates so you gates open wide open wide open wide now for the king of glory is in open wide open wide open wide now open wide
reign on the earth. You reign, you reign, you reign within my heart. I'll sing your praise. You are mighty. You reign. You reign, you reign. Far above, far above, far above. You reign, you reign. You reign, you reign, you reign. Holy. You reign, you reign, you reign. Oh Lord, my God Almighty. I speak the name. Yes. I speak the name. I speak the name Jesus. of Jesus. Far above all names. Jesus. You reign. You reign. The name of Jesus. I speak the name. I speak the Jesus. name.
name above all names. There's no other name. Name above all names. Jesus. There's no other name. Oh. We've come to behold you. Oh, there's no oh. other name.
Oh, oh, oh. 
surprise you see it all and I hear him singing over you it's gonna be better than just okay better than just okay better than just okay cuz we don't settle he says we don't settle we don't settle so much better than just okay it's gonna be better than you've ever known better than you've ever thought better than you can comprehend and it's gonna happen in a moment it's gonna happen in a moment cuz I'm still God of the suddenlies <laughs> I'm still God of the suddenlies <laughs> I never change I never change I never change so don't give up and don't back Cause it's a suddenly, it's a suddenly. It's a suddenly, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Cause suddenly he came, like a giant crashing wave. Making all my fears go away And suddenly he came Like a giant crashing wave And carrying all my fears away Here it comes, here it comes <laughs> Here it comes here it comes now. <laughs> it's your joy, it's your joy, it's your joy that gives me strength. It's your joy, it's your joy, it's the love flowing from your eyes. It's the compassion I see every time I catch eyes with you. It's your joy, it's your joy that gives is all my understanding your peace that passes all my understanding and I don't need to understand it anyway 
I'm just gonna stay right here with you and I don't need to understand it all anyways I'm just gonna stay right here right here in you I don't need to understand it all I'm just gonna stay I'm just gonna stay here Stay, 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 stay I just wanna stay I just want to stay, never go away I just want to stay right here I just want to stay right here Cause I'm just gonna stay right here I'm just gonna stay right here I'm just gonna stay I'm just gonna stay right here Cause you say I never have to leave I can stay right here So I'm gonna stay
can see you clearly I can see you clearly now And I can see you clearly I can see you clearly I can see you clearly He's restoring your vision He's restoring your vision He's come in the room He's restoring your vision tonight He's heard your cry He's heard your cry And he says I've come I'm gonna restore your vision tonight Hear the Lord say, I know you've grown tired and weary, 
And I know you think you've lost yourself along the way. And I know you felt a little alone now. But I'm telling you, I've held every piece of your heart in my hand. And I'm setting your feet back on the narrow ways. And you're never gonna be the same. And I promise you haven't lost yourself. I promise you're gonna be just fine Just trust me and take my hand To where I'm leading you I'm leading you to a green pasture It's time to rest now It's time for your refreshing It's time for your refreshing I'm bringing you in to season of refreshing Filling you up, filling you up You feel dry and tired I'm filling you up I'm filling you up Cause I have so much in store for you I have so much in store for you What you felt like was the end is just the beginning Cause I have the final say It's not what you think, it's not what they told you Just trust me now I'm bringing you in It's time for refreshing It's time for refreshing Cause we're just getting started Cause I didn't bring you this far now To let you fall or let you fail I didn't bring you this far just to tease you Just to tease you Oh it's just the beginning Cause I always have the final say I always have the final say I work all things, all things, all things, all things all things, all things together for your good. All things, do you hear me? I said all things, all things, all things, all things. That thing you're looking at and you're saying, I don't know how. I'm telling you, I use all things, all things. Work together, work together, work together for my good in your life. Everything, everything, everything. So I give you permission to laugh. At the thing in front of you, oh, that you said, I don't know how it's gonna move. I give you permission to laugh at the face of the enemy, cause you're gonna see it bow to me. You're gonna see it bow to me. You're gonna see it move and shift and change right in front of your eyes. Cause all things, all things, all things, all things, all things, all things work together for my good, work together.
things. All things. All things. All things. All things. All things. Just picture whatever it is that's standing in front of you. Like, I just see him standing there, and he's just saying, just look at it in the palm of your hand and just sing over it that all things, all things work together for my good. I prophesy that all things, oh, all things, yes, all things work together for my good because I'm called according. together, work together, work together for my good. Everything in your master plan, everything comes together. Wouldn't you be just that good? Wouldn't you be just that good? Wouldn't you be just that good to me? That you take my mess and make a masterpiece? Wouldn't you just be that good? <laughs> You take a mess and you make a masterpiece instead. Wouldn't you be just that good? <laughs> You're just that beautiful, just that glorious, just that wonderful, just that kind to me.
God, thank you that you've given us a spirit without any limitations. I thank you, Father, that the spirit that's within us is rising up with the same power that rose Jesus from the dead. And it's time to get that mindset. It's time to get that perception of being seated with Christ in the heavenly realms, far above, far above, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, any name that can be named, that the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord and we're seated with him. We're seated with him. We're seated with him. And the spirit wants to minister to us by lifting us into the heavenly realms that we're already there positionally, but we need to experience that relationship, that relationship with the Holy Spirit that we're seated far above, far above. Huh. You make it, you make it, you make it, you make it. So how would you act if you knew you were going to make it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Far above, far above, far above. Far above. The, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord says, I'm going to take you step by step, one step at a time. On, yes. One step at a time, one wave at a time, one wall at a time, one mountain at a time, one relative at a time, yes. one disease at a time. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. You're going to make it through it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. time to click it up a notch. Hallelujah. It's time for the temperature to become like the holy fire that's before the throne of God. Even the floor is hotter than most of us. Even the sapphire floor is hotter than us. It's just flooring. It's just, it's just the floor and it's hotter. We need to be hotter. Spirit says, get over yourself. The little you have left, just let it go. Stop fighting the Holy Spirit. He loves you. He wants to speak mysteries through you. He wants to speak and confirm your calling. Because God wants to choose you. He doesn't want you just to be called. He wants you to be chosen. Many, many are called, but few are chosen. Many find the wide way to destruction, but few find the narrow way. Father, we, we, we just thank you. We're counted among those who have counted the cost and, and proclaim in Tampa Bay that you're worth it. Yes. You're worth it. You're worth it. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has begun. It has begun. It always had begun, but now we're going to run. We're not waiting. We don't have to wait anymore. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. That means he's waiting until his enemies become his footstool. And that's going to be through the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, you're more than enough. Oh, I'm, a, I'm about to drink something that's more than enough. Oh boy, are you ready to drink something that's more than enough? It, it's in the room right now. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bottle that was a good year. It was, it was made before time began. It's a good year. 
it's the most potent oh man y'all need to be y'all need to be drunk you all are scary sober so just get drunk come on I don't hear you drinking. Come on now, drink. Yeah, let's finish this out with joy. Let's finish it out with joy. Get over yourself. Come on now. <laughs> don't get sober, you'll scare the children. Come on now. Stay in the spirit. Come on. Stay in the spirit. We don't want you sober. Drink. Drink from the water that flows from the throne of God. Drink from the water that flows from the throne. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. Drink. I command you to drink. Obey, obey the orders and drink. The Spirit's saying, I'm going to make it so easy to finish out this life. It's going to be just as easy as you when you got saved. It's just going to be that easy. It's going to be that easy to be filled with the Holy Spirit and power. And it's going to be that easy to heal the sick and raise the dead and cast out devils. It's going to be just as easy as getting saved. You couldn't save yourself. But he saved you, and it's going to be just that easy to step into the supernatural and finish out this race with joy. Come on now, we can do this. We can do this. We can fulfill the heart of the Father. Paul, Paul encouraged us that the mystery had been revealed that was hidden in times past, and now it's been revealed through his church, and that is Christ in us. The mystery's been revealed. It's not hidden anymore. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead is dwelling in us, and he's quickening. He's quickening your mortal body. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Clear. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> yeah, we got to pause. We got to pause. Come on. Be seated. Be seated with him. Be seated with him in the heavenly realms. Come into the heavenlies. Come into the heavenlies and sing with the angels. They, your angel misses you. Your father misses you. Your father loves you. Your father loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He made a place for you to sit with Christ in the heavenly realms. He who overcomes will sit with me on a throne. Father, I yield to the Holy Spirit in my weakness. You caused me to have strength and pray out your perfect will by the Holy Spirit. I yield and you lift me up and you super intercede through me. And I speak words 
that are from the throne. I speak the Father's words and his will comes to pass as I pray in the spirit. And I don't yield to my understanding. I don't understand, but the spirit is speaking unto God through my spirit, praying out prayers, perfect prayers. Come on now, let's pray in the spirit. Come on. Come on. They already know you're crazy out there. Just pray in tongues. Come on. They already know you're crazy anyway. Stopodo, enter in, step in, Staba, 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 Teke, 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 Seke, Leke, Oso, Torra, Basa, Tasa, Soto, Step in, Step in, Step in, Enter in, Yopo, Ishte, Yopo, Your mouth is the door, Shamalamate, Shamalamate, Shato, Turn around, Shabalabiato, Korra, Bahashe, Abala Boto Korra Bashe, all our loved ones saved. Mashe, Mashe, salvation, 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 deliverance from every evil work. Shava, Shotoko, Shokoto, Shokoto, because, because, because Amate Yashoto Ite, it is written down this day that you were here and the Lord heard what you had to say. Yapo, Shapo, Shapa, Sipateke, E pray, pray, pray. Palapana, Pulamanda, Alapo, your fire, Lord, your fire, tongues of fire, holy, holy fire, holy, holy fire. Hofo, Shabarabiki, Mareke, Marasa, let the Spirit pray through you. Let the Spirit pray through you. Let the Spirit see you through. Shifo teke, shifo tekeke, shifo tekitano, shtamash tamakate, shtamash tamakate, elevete, elevete, elevete. Let the Holy Spirit take you there. Let the Holy Spirit take you there. Halavono, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, guiding us into all the truth. Shaba la boto, la poto. There's a tipping point. Jesus went a little further. We can go a little further. Shokoto, hitasata, isatasa. He will, it's going to enable you to finish your race and to pick up the pace, to outrun the king's chariot. Ha, ha, ha. Shakototo, the sword of the Lord. Shamatamate, bosonondo, rabasete, borrabashe, mokoramash, ambande, oraba, abate, oropo, orama, eshoto, ilavete, alavoto, ilaviana, osontoko, oramakita, makorepe, baso, 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 baso. Basso, 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 basso. Praying out the mysteries, praying out the mysteries, praying out the mysteries. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We give thanks. We give thanks. We know when we pray in other tongues, we're speaking out mysteries and we're giving thanks well. It says we're giving thanks well. Sala, we give you the glory, Lord. We give thanks. Halabunakita, halabanakito, halabanakito, halabanakito. Your words in our mouth. The Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, praying through us. Fashalavuta, shalavekete, itanashino, isanatala. We love you, Lord. Vina Palamondo, we thank you for baptizing us with the Holy Spirit and fire. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We fear before you, Lord. We fear before you, Lord. Shalamandele, elebikiato korrabakase, isanando ramase, ebe, ebe. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Lord. Humble ourselves, Lord. Shola vete. 
Shina Kayanoto Urinetiana so Urinetiana so Urinetiana so Urinetiana so Thank you, Lord. 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 The Apostle Paul wrote to Ephesus, and Ephesus was steeped in uh, witchcraft. And if we see that in the book of Acts, they turned in all their their spell books. And so they understood the spirit realm, but they did not understand their position. They did not understand the things that God had done for them in Christ. So he prayed for them in Ephesians chapter one, and I'm gonna read verses three until I fall over. <laughs> and this is Ephesians one, and verse 3 says, Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has been lavishly given to us. It's a love gift from a wonderful heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. All because he sees us. He, he sees us wrapped into Christ. This is why we celebrate him with all our hearts. Now listen to this, verse 4. He chose us as his very own, joining us to himself. I mean, what's left? He's joined us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the world. That sounds like it's rigged. It's an election that was actually legal himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe because of his great love he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence so if you feel guilty tonight and you're a christian you need to repent because it says here that because of his great love he ordained us so that we would be seen seen as holy with an unstained innocence. Verses five and six says this, for it has always been his perfect plan to adopt us. It's always been his perfect plan. On his worst day, it's still his perfect plan to adopt us. He has not rejected you. It was always his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children, through our union with Jesus, the anointed one, so that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his grace. For the same love he has for his beloved one, Jesus, he has for us. And this is repeated in John 17, where Jesus prays for all of us and says, Father, you love them just like you love me. We got to get this tonight got to get this. Don't make me fall over. I'll, come on now. It says his unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. So it's unfolding right now. It's been unfolded, but we're just getting up to speed as a spirit is allowed to minister to us. So in verse 7, it says, since we are joined to Christ, we have been given the treasures of redemption by, the, by his blood. Now listen to this. The total cancellation of our sins. All because of his cascading riches of grace. This super abundant, not just abundant, but super abundant grace is already powerfully working inside of us, releasing us from all forms of wisdom and practical understanding. It's releasing within us all forms of wisdom and practical understanding. It's exploding within us right now, releasing all forms of wisdom. 
All forms. All forms. Did I mention all forms? You know what it says in the Greek? All forms. We need to learn the English. And through the revelation of the anointed one, he unveiled his secret desire to us. The hidden mystery of his long range plan which he has del was delighted to implement from the very beginning of time. And because of God's unfailing purpose, this detailed plan will reign supreme through every period of time. <laughs> it says it's gonna rain supreme through every period of time until fulfillment of all the ages finally reaches climax when God makes all things new in the heaven and on the earth through Jesus Christ. Through our union with Christ, we have been claimed by God as his own inheritance. Before we were even born, he gave us our destiny that we would fulfill the plan of God who always accomplishes always accomplishes every purpose and plan in his heart. God's purpose was that we Jews who were the first to long for the mess messianic hope would be the first to believe in the anointed one and bring great glory to God. Now that happened because Jesus came and revealed himself to the Jews and they rejected him. And so he turned, you know, to the Gentiles. And so we're in that period right now. We know that Jesus fulfilled his father's purpose on the earth. And we know he made it to the throne because the Holy Spirit came. He said, I'm going to go. And when I get there, I will send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came. So we know he made it. And it wasn't on Delta. Trust me. He'd be still stuck in Atlanta. But he's, he made it. And the Holy Spirit came. And now this is where we're at right now. We have the Holy Spirit. It's the times of the Gentiles. And he has revealed his purpose through the church. We have power. Yeah. I'm never giving up. Yeah. I got a second chance at life. I'm not going to mess it up this time. And I'm not backing off. I literally have super glued the throttle in the max position. I'm not backing off this message of the gospel. I don't care what comes out of, of the ocean. Mermaid or dragon, it doesn't matter to me. Nothing is going to disappoint me any longer. Why? Disappointment means you don't meet your appointment. There's distance between your appointments. That's a disappointment. Distance between your appointments. It's a disappointment. I don't have disappointments anymore because I make my appointments. I don't have any discouragement because I don't have any distance between my courage and me. I don't have discouragement. No distance. I make my appointments. The Spirit wants to do that for all of us. I said, it doesn't matter where you are right now. It does matter what you do right now, though. You got to make a step and you got to make it toward the throne. That's where you're going. You might as well just go ahead and give it all you have for the rest of your life. Every breath you take now, you do it because God has predestined you. He already discovered and did his plan a long time ago. It says that it was done before the foundation of the world. If you're in Christ, there is no door behind you. It's all been shut and sealed. You're not going back. You're not going back. If I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. When I met Jesus, he's not a person who rides the brake and the, the gas pedal at the same time. You don't see him accelerating with the brake lights on. You don't see him holding back, trying to conserve fuel. He is full out. He is an intense person. 
He can't joke because he'll get it. He can't say anything kidding. He could create a universe. <laughs> and he spoke over you. He sings songs of deliverance over you. I mean, if you want to bring the Bible into it, Zephaniah 3, he sings songs of deliverance over you. It's not hee-haw, gloom, despair, and agony on me. He's singing songs of deliverance over you. Listen, listen. Any one of you, if you would have had happen what I've had happen to me, you would make it count this time because you get a second chance at it. I, I cannot tell you anything but to go full out for God. And don't look back. Do not look back. You should hear crunching under your feet. You should hear the serpents and the scorpions being crushed under your feet. And in Tampa Bay, maybe some mermaids here and there. I mean, the dinosaurs, they didn't make it. If you look at the fossil layer, they died instantly. They were judged. The serpent is very, very scared because he knows that the offspring of the woman defeated his offspring. Now, we know who the offspring of the devil is because Jesus named them. He called the Pharisees. He says, you're just like your father, the devil. You lie just like him. You, when, when you lie, you speak your, your language. It's your native tongue is what he said. When you lie, it's your native tongue. You're just like your father. He told the Pharisees that. How'd you like to go to the headquarters for the main denominations of today and tell them that? But that's what Jesus did. Jesus said, you're the offspring of the devil. And he says that when you get a convert, you make them twice the son of hell that you are. That's what he said, twice the son of hell. And he was mad. Who warned you? He was, Jesus was mad. Who warned you the coming wrath? He was mad. Who told you? He didn't want him to know. You brood of vipers. The separation's already happened. The ark door has been closed. It's the days of Noah. And now, we're going to be God's people. And the other people, they're going to be their people like their father we are so privileged to live in the day we live in so privileged to have the open heaven that we have the opportunities that we have now God has chosen us at the end of the age to wrap it up he's 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 given us the responsibility because he trusts us. When I went into to the ministry, he told me that was five years ago. He said, I can depend upon you. He said, I can depend upon you. I trust you. He said, I trust you. I have never heard of that before, that God would trust somebody. So when God trusts you, he's going to tell you to do things and they're going to work. <laughs> they're going to work. Because he needs you at the end of this age to succeed. It's favor. It's not fair to those watching. It's, it's, it can't be replicated because you gotta have a relationship. You cannot replicate the supernatural ministry. You just have to flow and be trusted. God trusts you all. Come on now, you can do this. 
You can do this with one hand tied behind your back and one, and one leg. Do the crane. You can do this. No, you can do this. You just have to be established in the spirit. And you have to know that you are valued and loved and that God is going to accomplish his great purpose. To, you know, just to quote the Bible here. Every person in here is valuable, but every person in here has potential beyond the revelation that's been given because I can sense in my spirit that something big is happening in the spirit now. And usually it takes a while for people to catch on. But I'm not, I'm not waiting for people to catch on because that's too, that's too slow. <laughs> now, this is what I do. I eat the word of God. It's keto friendly. I drink of the spirit. I drink and I eat of the word of God so that when people look at me wrong, it, I don't fluctuate in my emotions. When people don't honor they don't discern when they don't know who you are. If you're eating the word and drinking of the spirit, you can stay stable. Listen, he's worth dying for. He is worth it. He's worth dying for. So why don't you live for him? Why don't you live for him, okay? Man. My confidence is in him, but it's really, I'm telling you, the secret to this life is the resurrection power. My confidence is in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the key. That is the secret. I'm telling you. What does the devil fight more than anything? It's the resurrection. It's the resurrection. Paul said, don't even hang out with those who have a form of godliness, but deny the power. That power he's talking about is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He talks about it in all his writings, the power. But once you walk in that power, there's, there's, there's two words for power. John said, listen, those who embraced Jesus and believed in him, he gave them the power to become sons of God. That word there is a word for authority. So something happens when you get touched by God, it clicks you over to where you become stable. And you're like, you're ready for anything, no matter what. Listen, I don't, I'm being honest with you. I don't care if I have to crawl across the finish line. It might not be pretty to the world, but I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna finish my race. I don't care if I have to crawl across. I don't care. I have this tenacity inside of me. And I love the body of Christ. I saw God's plan when I was in heaven. It's the church. It's the beautiful body, the bride. And it's speaking, it's speaking to the bride and not caring if you get noticed. It doesn't matter if we get noticed. Our reward is with him. I'm telling you, those angels, listen. Angels, your angels should have writing cramps from recording. Writing cramps, like, I wish they would slow down a little bit. They might have to get that dictation software. Let the word of God become so real that you can go to the future and know that you make it and have that, that, that honest knowing that you are complete in him and then reverse engineer it back. In other words, take it back to where you are now and say, okay, if I make it and I'm before the throne and I've heard well done and everything is in the culmination, I've been there, I was at that. I was there, I heard the song of the redeemed. I saw all the saints in all the ages. They were worshiping the lamb and I saw we all made it. And it changed me because Jesus said to me, because I was seated with him on a throne, which will get you kicked out of most churches. But I was seated with him. And as he's being washed over by the saint's song that was coming up out of the, out of the big area there in the throne, there was the breath of all the saints and the angels were falling. 
and the saint's breath was hitting him and he was washed over and he fell. He started to slip out of his throne and he was back like it was a lounge chair. And he just looked so, he looked so relieved that he, he had received the reward for his suffering. This is a hard life. I mean, you know, I'm one of those ministers that actually tells you the truth. This is not easy down here. This is worse than a three ring circus. I mean, we've got leaders falling upstairs to their airplanes. It's not easy. But I saw, I saw that we make it. So while he is washed over, laying back, I decided I'm going to sneak off the throne and make my way down the side and get on the front row and just lay face flat by that angel that was face flat because he had gotten a revelation of the Father and he just fell. And the saints were just sloshed. And as my big toe hit the floor and I started to sneak off, he goes, what are you doing? I said, well, I just don't feel comfortable up here. It, they were worshiping him, but I was there, and it just didn't feel right. And he said, no. He said, I bought this for you. This is your seat. He said, this is prayer. I go, what? He goes, this is where you come in prayer and you sit here with me until you get your answer. And then you take it back to the earth with you. This is prayer. I go, that's not what I was taught at Ramah or the Assemblies of God College. And Google doesn't teach this. The nearly inspired version certainly doesn't talk about this. But Jesus said to me, come and sit with me until you get your answer because there are no questions at the throne, only answers. And I sat there and I could not think of a thing to ask. And the Lord said to me, do this often. Come and sit with me until you get your answer. I didn't say a word, I just sat there in that awesome dominion presence. Awesome dominion. It's the kind that squished the dinosaurs and the hybrids and the demons were worried that Jesus had come. What is he doing on the earth? What have you done? Are you come before to torment us before our time? Oh, please don't send us out of the area because we got this gig going, this matrix. Don't send us out of the area. And have you come to torment us? Is it time already? They didn't know why he was on the earth. This dominion that's in the throne it destroyed the works of the devil. It was the spirit that was on King David that slayed all the giants. It was the spirit that came on Samson that killed a thousand with a donkey jawbone. And you can't even do it with a Glock. How are you going to kill a thousand enemies? He did it with a donkey jawbone because the spirit of the Lord had come upon him. Listen, I'm telling you, all of you, are too serious about the wrong things. You're serious about how much you've failed and how much you can't do instead of being serious about what God believes about you on the throne that he invested everything in you and you can do this. You can do this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bold with you. I don't take no for an answer. I don't pray anything unless I know it's God's will. And I know I've got it. And Jesus told me, is what you're believing for worth dying for? But when I hear from God, I'm not backing off. And I'm not backing off for this nation. I'm not backing off for this dispensation. I'm telling you. Let's not find ourselves. Now remember this, Paul wrote to the Colossians, like I said Sunday morning. I didn't burn all that fuel to have something not happen here. 
Paul wrote to the Colossians, it says right there, that letter went to the Laodiceans. Paul wrote that letter in 62 AD. It's on the internet, it must be true. 62 AD, Paul wrote to the Colossians, which at some manuscripts have the Laodiceans at the top. So he mentions that in the first chapter there. So Paul wrote to Laodiceans and told him all these things I just quoted because Ephesians and Colossians are pretty much the same. He was probably just in a different jail cell when he wrote it. Okay, so now if you look, Jesus said, hey, write John in the Owl Patmos, 96 AD. Jesus says, write and tell the Laodiceans they're in trouble. He told them, you're lukewarm. He told them, you're, you're blind, you're naked, and you're poor. And you think you're rich. You think you're well-dressed. You think you can see. You're blind. He told the Laodiceans this in 96 A.D. Paul told them in 62. Jesus told them in the 30s. Okay, 30s, 62, 96. And here we are. Here we are. I mean, can I just say that we are lukewarm? We're lukewarm. We're lukewarm and we don't know it. I'm telling you, when you get to heaven, you're going to find out because you're going to get to look back and you're going to like, oh my God, I was lukewarm. I saw I was lukewarm. I was waiting. I was waiting for the next bad thing to happen. I was like bracing for it. I mean, I believe that certain leadership should wear at least 10 masks so that I don't have to listen to them anymore. No, no, they've trained us bracing for the next thing. When the gates of hell cannot prevail, prevail against the church, period. I mean, the church is the strongest and has the most authority. And before Brother Hagin died, he told our class that. And Billy Brim was there and I asked her, she said, he did say that. He said, if anything bad happens to America, it's the church's fault. That's what Jesus told him. That's what he left us with. Before I graduated, he said, listen, Jesus was only in the ministry. He's telling all the ministers who are graduating. He said, all you ministers. He said, Jesus did the will of the Father. And he only lasted three years in ministry. And then they killed him. And he said, if you do the same thing, you won't last long either. <laughs> I said, what did he just say? <laughs> you see, if you're potent on the earth, you will be celebrated as a hero in the next generation. But every person that ever did anything for God, when they were living, they were not recognized or honored, and they wanted to kill them. The potent ones. And Jesus said that to the Pharisees. Why do you want to kill me? He said, because you claim to be the Son of God. He said, I sent you the prophets, and you killed them. He said that you celebrate them as your heroes now but you killed them and you're going to kill me as well. I'm telling you how you can live the rest of your life out in this earth is you have to hand yourself over. There's power when you just relinquish your life, when you don't even care about your life anymore. But while you're alive, he's going to keep you He's going to keep you. He told me, take care of my people, Kevin, and I'll take care of you. He said, just take care of my people. 
He said, tell them that we're being slandered up here. He said, me and my father are being slandered. We're not doing any of these terrible things. He said, tell them the truth. He pled with me. He said, You're, when he told me this, he said, in the fall, this disease is coming. He said, the church is not going to pass their test. And then he said, you're going to quadruple. Because you, listen, because you didn't preach current events or end time events. He said, you preach the good news of the gospel. He said, I'm taking the lampstands away from those who preach current events and end time events. He said, preach Paul, preach the gospel, preach in Christ. And so that's what we endeavored to do a couple of years ago. And so we just broke 27,000 students in three years in our school. Why? Because all we have to do is meet people's needs. We just have to go to the people and just give them the good news and, and train people up. That's it. That's all we have to do. People, Jesus said, listen, two, the two things that people need is they need to have value and they need to feel safe. He said, warrior notes, you do that. You give them value through the gospel and they, they are safe in me. They're secure. So you tell them they're safe and you tell, you tell them for sure that they have value. So listen, I don't have any bad news. I have no criticism for any of you. I don't have anything bad to say to you or anybody. All I want is for everybody to come together and stop trying to do it on our own. And let's do ministry together. I need help. Everybody wants to do their own thing. Everybody wants their own little island with their private beach and a boat. It's like, I just want to wrap this up. Why is everybody isolating themselves when I need help? Oh, you just wait, you just wait, just wait. I want to start an airline and bring the nonstop back. You know, the nonstop. I want to I want to solve problems. I want to help people and you do too. There is plenty of us on the earth that want to help. You can do this. You have to look at what Paul wrote. He wrote from Revelation that is how we live by revelation of the word of god the spirit makes the words on the text dimensional if you just have the text you're a pharisee if you just have the spirit you're crazy but both together like paul he addressed the corinthians he said you're not spiritual i can't even address you as spiritual and they had all the gifts of the spirit he had to tell them to line up in lines and do it decently in order but then in chapter 3 of 1st Corinthians he said I wish I could address you as spiritual but you're carnal okay so they did not have the word of God to where it was a boundary maker to walk in love so I want I want I, I mean I'll hand this mic to pastor and I want Brittany to come up and, and prophesy I want pastor to come up and prophesy. I want him to pick a couple people. And I want, I want to end this tonight by the body of Christ prophesying. I'm, it shouldn't just be me. And it shouldn't just be your pastor. We're, we, the, all the gifts of the Spirit were given to the body. And severally, it says, as the Spirit wills. That means that you have two or three. Several is more than two. Okay, so each of us has at least three gifts in us. And I need to be ministered to as well. I need what you have inside of you. We need to bring that back. We need to bring the nonstop back to the body of Christ. All of you have gifts. You should be able to come to church and be well-educated in the Word of God and full of the Spirit and be able to fire from the other realm to the body just with fire, just deliver a message, a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge, a tongue, interpretation of tongues, gifts of healing, miracles. 
Let's bring back the miracles. It's just interesting that all the healing evangelists disappeared for the last two years. Poor God, you know, he can't put us over during COVID. No, no, God is well able. Brittany, you can come up. Brittany, or unless you want to just do it from there. Listen, listen to me. Why, why, was it, why was it that I had to stand alone and I never got COVID, but I had to stand alone because everybody's hiding and shivering? And I said, no. I will see a thousand fall and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. You know, this wasn't as a minister. This was as a Christian. I had to stand on my own because there was no healing evangelist. So I had to prescribe myself. So I went to Psalms 91 and wrote a prescription. Now listen, this is this. I'm telling you this because this is how we get back on track. We get back on track because something doesn't work and we find out we were lukewarm. We were ministered to and puffed up in our soul. We didn't have anything in our spirit to say, no, this too shall pass. I'm not getting sick. You have no idea. I fought a dragon. Me and my wife fought a dragon to say that we didn't get that. It was a dragon. That thing was weaponized. This is how we're going to get through to the end. We're going to say no. I made the most high my dwelling place. None of these things shall come near me. Period. You've got to be fully convinced of it. And you have to not be visiting. You have to make the most high your dwelling place. The drive through window is closed. I have one. Look at that. I was ready. So when we were up there tonight, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say that your season of distraction is over. Like, I feel like so many in the room, you've been in this season of distraction and you feel like you can't see. And like, I saw in the Spirit, like a little tiny chihuahua, you know how like they're like ankle biters and they're distracting. And the Lord said that he has given you full authority and you need to kick it away from you. Like I heard in the spirit, like you need to take your authority. The Lord said you have the authority to get rid of every distraction that's tried to hinder you. And I also saw tonight that he's lifting your eyes. Like I saw when we were singing and the Lord said, like, I can see you clearly. And the Lord said, there's so many in this room that you feel like your vision has been blurred in the season. Like you had vision, you knew where you were going. And then something came in like that distraction. And it became very like foggy. And the Lord said that tonight, as you stand in your authority, as you start to take your place your vision is being given back to you and it's not just 2020 it's like 2015 it's better than before and everything every dream every desire everything that you thought had died is coming back to life in this season so I say that right now if that's you stand up we're taking a prophetic right now we're going to stand up so, Lord, right now, we just decree and declare that every distraction that has tried to hinder us right now is bowing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that our eyesight is better than before. God, every dream, every vision, every promise, every word that you declared and decreed over us and our family, we shall see it come to pass. So, Father, right now, we say distraction has to leave. Right now, we say that our vision is back and we are going forward full force, full force force full force he says open up your sails for tonight the wind of the spirit is blowing upon you and you're gonna go further and faster and further and faster than you thought that you ever could he said let my wind carry you quit trying to do it on your own quit trying to do it through your striving all I'm asking you is to open yourself wide and catch the wind of my spirit because I'm coming upon you in a suddenly do you hear me in in a suddenly, in an instant, here it comes. So open wide the sails of your heart. Distraction cannot hold you any longer. Fear cannot hold you any longer. Doubt cannot hold you any longer. Everything that has tried to crush your dreams right now is being shaken away and shaken off of you. 
Every chain that's tried to bind your heart is being loosened tonight, and I hear it falling to the ground in the spirit. So, Father, we thank you right now for a season of your fresh wind blowing upon the sails of our heart. God, that we're going to go further and faster than we've ever gone before because we will finish our race. We will finish our race. We are picking up the pace, and we are finishing our race. God, we just pray over this next generation, God, that it is not a lost generation, but it is the Zion generation. I pray every over every lost soul, God, that's searching and hurting and grieving, God. that you will just show them who you are, God. Show them who you are, God. God, we cry out, Jesus. God, I cry out for my generation, God. God, that you will just show us who you are. You will show us who you are, God. That we will see your face. We will see your face, Jesus. I come against every homosexual lifestyle, God, and I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command every confusing mind to have peace. That they will find their identity, God, in you. And not in a drink, not in a vape, not in a relationship. God, but a relationship with you. God, we need you. We need you, God. We need you, Jesus. We need you, God. We need you, Jesus. God, I break complacency in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus that we will be a generation that stands for good. We will be a generation that stands for you, God, and your will and your way and your purpose, God. Devil, get your hands off in the name of Jesus. I claim this generation back in the name of Jesus. I take it back in the name of Jesus. Even now, God, break the chains that have been binding us of fear and anxiety and depression. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Devil, go back to the pit of hell where you came from. You have no place in this generation. I command Gen Z to rise in the name of Jesus, to rise in purpose, to rise in 
Even now, Holy Spirit, just move through the atmosphere of teenage homes. Even now, God, whatever they are about to do, Jesus, just stop them in their tracks. Let the conviction rise in them, God. Let it rise in them, Jesus. That, let them know that there is something more. There is something more. In Jesus' name. Shahara <laughs> Sahara Shatatara Basana Katiya Shadako Rahatataraka, the wait is over. Rohono to Koro Shahatara Basatara Bashahana Katatara Si Roho to Koro Sotonamasha. Everybody stand up. No horror shot of Korobasa Tarabasha Tarabasa Tarabashi and no Kotoroboshu Horro Totonomoso Toroka Sharatsa Tarabasha Hanamasa Tarabashi Kiti Ashara Kasana Mataka. The fire of God Roho Shonomoto Koro City to be city to The fire of God Rahasha Namasa Tarabaka Tarabaka. Come on, it's come on us. Come on us, 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 Rahashana Katarava Satarava Shatarava Satarava Shionoko, come on us, Onoko Sorava Shatarava Satarava Shinimi Titiri Titiri Kitiri Kitiria, Rondo Kosotorovo Shotorovo Satarava Shanaya Satarakashia Sharakataraka. Lift your hands up to God. Lift your hands up to Him. Who wants the fire of God? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Burning in our hearts. The fire of God, Rahashahana Katatarabasha Hatarabasa, Rohondorobosho, so Hondoroboto Tunda Rabaki, Rahasa Handa Rabasha Handa Rabasa Hatarabishi Hitiriki, Rondo Totorabasa Hatarambashi Hindiribiki, Rondo Kosoto Torabasha Handa Rakasi, Dindiriki Asha Handa Rakasa Hatarabasha.
Russia Hatara Kasa. Who's got Who's got issues with addiction? For us that have issues with addiction, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the Hispanic community in Tampa, in Florida, and all around America, all the community of the Hispanics to come to Jesus in spirit and in truth, to surrender to God. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arise, arise. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, who told you that you could not do what I told you to do? In Jesus' name, I break that over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I see in the Spirit that you will speak the Word of God and fire will come out from your mouth and darkness will flee in the mighty name of Jesus. I've called you to be warriors for me. Ramaka, do not back down. The Spirit of God is saying, do not back down. Do not back down. The Lord wants you to know that He wants you to take your eyes off of man and put your eyes on Him. In Jesus' name, Lord, we bind up the spirit of idolatry in the body of Christ right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the power and authority that you've given within us, O oh God. And we will speak from the realm of the Spirit. We will speak from the fire. And Lord, we will see. I saw in the Spirit earlier, it was like when every place that we go, like Peter, when our shadow fell on people. Woo! There'll be so much fire within us. Your presence, oh God. Everywhere we go, darkness flees. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The spirit of religion will bow at the name of Jesus. We come against that spirit of religion in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of Pharisee goes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, this word is for you. The Lord is saying, receive it and let out the roar, the lion of Judah within you. Roar! Jesus! 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 Yes, Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In worship, I was listening to the Father and he was saying that there is a creative anointing. There is a creative anointing being released and that the songs that haven't been sung and the dreams that haven't been put into the earth it the time is now the time is now there are people holding back holding back and resisting there are people that haven't submitted and when you submit and when you lay it down at the father's feet every dream every vision every song every sound everything that's coming off of your lips the father has placed it in you and you are to lay it down and he gives it back to you because it's from him it's from the spirit it's from the spirit of god and it has to be that way or otherwise it'll come out of the flesh and so we have to yield we have to yield we have to yield we have to yield who we are to the spirit so that the sound of the father can be released in the earth so that the voice of the father can be released in the earth so that his sound, his song, his vision, his dream shall be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory, God. We just give you glory in this place. We give you honor, God. Woo. Woo. Everything within us. God, we give it to you, Lord. You're holy, Lord. You're holy. You're holy. You're righteous. Woo! Activate within us, God. Activate your word in us, God. Activate your truth in us, God. Whoa! Let our minds be transformed. Be renewed in your word, God. Take that seed in us. Let it grow. Let it come out on our, through our mouths, through your Holy Spirit, fire, through the breath of life. You're within us, God. You're the blood within us. You're everything within us. You're everything. You're everything to us, God. Oh, 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 Spirit, come activate, activate your word, those seeds of life, activate, activate, Ooh. hey. Refreshing us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your oasis of peace. Peace be still. Peace be still.
go in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus restore all of us, our DNA. Let the fire go from us, from this place, to all our family and loved ones right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm convinced that any suffering we endure is less than nothing compared to the magnitude of glory that is about to be unveiled within us. The entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. For against its will, the universe itself has had to endure the empty futility resulting from the consequences of human sin. But now with eager expectation, all creation longs for freedom from its slavery to decay and to experience with us the wonderful freedom coming to God's children. To this day, we are aware of the universal agony and groaning of creation as if it were in the contractions of labor for childbirth. And it's not just creation. We who have already experienced the first fruits of the Spirit also inwardly groan as we passionately long to experience our full status as God's sons and daughters, including our physical bodies being transformed, for this is the hope of our salvation. But hope means that we must trust and wait for what is still unseen. For why would we need to hope for something we already have? So because our hope is set on what is yet to be seen, we patiently keeping on waiting for its fulfillment. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold, of our, takes hold of our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for, but the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. God is the searcher of the heart and He knows fully our longings. Yet he also understands the desires of the Spirit because the Holy Spirit passionately pleads before God for us, his holy ones, in perfect harmony with God's plan and our destiny. Father, I thank you that as we come here tonight, Lord God, we know that you are raising a new standard within the earth. Not new to you, Lord God, but new to this generation, Father God, because we are so focused on the leadership that is out there and that is prevalent, Lord God, that does nothing but speaks evil and brings us into a place of bondage. But you are raising a standard within the Spirit that, Lord God, we will see the sons, the sons of God raised up, Father God, raised up and fulfilling everything that you have put within them and everything that you've purposed for them and that father god that they've been brought into the fullness of what you have for them by the very adoption that is theirs and so lord god we are seeing a leadership begin to arise within the earth that is not given and not placed there by position but has been put there by the very heart of the father and so, Father, we just thank you for the sons of God arising within the earth. And that, Lord God, they'll stand and they'll speak as the oracles of God. They will speak the truth. They will speak the very revelation of God. They will speak the very word of heaven, Lord God. And we will see, Father God, that you are not a man that you should lie. 
nor the son of man that you should repent for have you not said and will you not do it Lord God we thank you that your word is good in the earth and we thank you Lord God that you've raised up a people that are yours Lord God yours to do your exploits in the earth thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord God thank you Lord God thank you Lord God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I just wanted to encourage um, during worship uh, when you guys sang Hosanna I saw the um, the palace the gate I saw the, the ground crack it was when the sound was released it was that sound it was that sound in the atmosphere during Hosanna we all felt it. I mean, I felt it. The ground really cracked. And that really, that really encouraged me. We have to stay at the gate and release the sound until that thing falls. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. thank you that you you have given us the freedom and we have taken the authority and now Lord as we prophesy daily over our city and over the territory that you have given to us we put an expectancy on the word of God that we will see it come to pass we speak to the north we declare to the south we call the west and we say to the east you will not hold back the destiny of the sons and daughters of the Most High. We declare that we are victorious and that we walk in victory. We stand in victory. We speak and to declare in victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you're so God, you're so good, you're so good, you're so good to me, and God, you're so good, you're so good, you're so good to me, and God, you're so You're so good to 